All right, guys, check this out. Freightliner DD13, little added bonus for Saturday's uh, Saturday's uh, fun day, if you will. Customer brings in the truck, says, hey, I've got an oil leak in the front, but it only does it when the engine is cold. I thought, okay, that's kind of strange. Usually when the truck is running, it's gonna do its oil leak, blah, blah, blah. So check this out, guys. Here is underneath the oil pan, right? You gotta pull the oil pan out. Yes, I had to pull out the suction module. Yes, I had to pull out the whole thing just because it wouldn't clear. Okay, not a big deal. See this little loom right here? See this little harness? Okay, this harness, check that out, man. Look at that thing, it's already frayed. I gotta repair that, that's not a big deal. That's pretty easy to do. So we pull out the oil pan and I didn't see this until after, but while it was installed, it looked like something hit it, right? You can see that there. You can see where the camera's gonna try to pick up that slight angle. That wire, harness, whatever you guys wanna call it, was rubbing through. So you figure this truck has a million miles on it, just a hair over a million. That little harness or wire was literally rubbing and sawing through. On the other side, you can't really see it. There's a tiny, 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 tiny pinhole. It's right there. I'm gonna paint it really quick. Actually, what I'm gonna do is hold the camera. I'm gonna spray just a little bit of this brake cleaner. I wanna, I wanna see, I want you guys to take a look for yourselves. Oops. Can you guys see that there on that camera? So I hope that picked it up. It is literally a tiny little pinhole. Okay, it's right there. You can barely see it on the camera. I'm gonna throw a little bit, a little more. Uh... See, look at that. So yeah, pretty interesting. I've never seen that before. So what I'm gonna do really quick before we actually get the whole assembly back in there. Uh, one thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and replace the oil suction module while we're there. So this is coming out. I don't know how old that is, but again, it's got a million miles on it. That's gonna go. And gotta get this thing cleaned up. I'm gonna fix that little harness really quick, that little wire. It's actually a single wire, but it looks like it's already frayed. So I'm gonna fix it while we're there. Uh, tuck it in nice and as a matter of fact let me get underneath this thing and go from there so this is a little little bonus for the for the day for saturday so check this out guys all right this is part of the loom uh looks like something someone already messed with this thing Ooh, baby oh shit no wonder this thing's <laughs> fuck. okay i'm gonna have to fix this harness that I don't know what the hell happened here I'm guessing something was rubbing here is this wire it's a pretty thick one here I'm gonna have to fix that as well I'm gonna cut the loom off we don't need it then what I want to do is actually just secure everything nicely to this right here sorry this and this once I fix it uh, this is part of the OEM side holy fuck okay yeah dude this is gonna be fun this is definitely not gonna be done today uh, anyway, so again, we're gonna repair this wire. We're gonna repair this harness, and this is the one that actually did all the damage. Pretty, pretty, uh, pretty hard to believe, but it did. So let me get started on this. I gotta fix this, and uh, whoo, baby, this is gonna be good. So, anyway, a little, little bonus for Saturday. So yet yeah, earlier we just finished up the PX9. Now we gotta get this oil pan, and we are gonna replace the oil pan with a brand new oil pan assembly. Check this out. This is from Detroit. This is for a DD13. So this is what a new oil pan looks like. Check that out. Again, suction module right there. We're gonna replace that. It's one of those things while you're there. We're gonna replace the O-rings right there. Remember, you've got too small, too large. Here's our oil pan. So next time you guys pick up an oil pan, it literally comes with everything you need. It comes with the gasket. It comes with the bolts and grommets. The sides are plugged up, oil fill tube. Again, just about everything you need. So again, one of those things I've never seen before. Interesting. Anyway, have yourself a great weekend. Again, happy Father's Day to everyone out there. I know that's tomorrow. Enjoy your day.